Good morning. It's Friday, December 11th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, In This Time of Our Deep Need, and our scripture is Habakkuk's Prophecy, Chapter 3. I have heard all about you, Lord. I am filled with awe by your amazing works. In this time of our deep need, help us again as you did in years gone by. And in your anger, remember your mercy. I see God moving across the deserts from Edom, the Holy One coming from Mount Paran. His brilliant splendor fills the heavens, and the earth is filled with His praise. His coming is as brilliant as the sunrise. Rays of light flash from His hands where His awesome power is hidden. Pestilence marches before Him. Plague follows close behind. When he stops, the earth shakes. When he looks, the nations tremble. He shatters the everlasting mountains and levels the eternal hills. He is the Eternal One. A friend came to me years ago to ask for help. I responded immediately because the need was there and this was my friend. Simple as that. End of story. Reflecting on the prophet's words, I thought of my friend and what my response might have been if he weren't in the friend category. What if he were my enemy? What would I have done? Prayer is a little more complicated, but like that. We are now in as deep a need for the hand of God as can be. But the question is still the same for God's consideration as mine about my friend. What if we're not the friends of God? Will it do any good, not being his friend, to ask for relief from the many dangers that encircle the camp? Habakkuk's words are like any of the other prophets. He speaks of the majesty of the Eternal One, his splendor displayed in creation along with judgment measured by pestilence and plagues. When God arrives, the earth rocks and nations tremble. Just a word and a mountain crumbles. This is the God of judgment and grace. The question becomes, for those who are accustomed to turning to God for help in times of distress, which God are we asking to show up? Is it the one who holds forgiving grace and mercy, or the one whose fingers flash in destruction and judgment? Well, the answer to that question is dependent on who's asking. When a friend asks, he's evoking the meaning of friendship as a fulfillment of friendship vows. When an enemy asks, he is implicitly throwing himself at the feet of the judge, asking for mercy. Friends have a right to ask. Enemies can expect nothing. So the question begs another. Are we, in American culture or any other nation on earth, friends or foe to the Eternal One? And this is not a question about what we say. That would be cheap grace. How have we acted? What is the measure of our reasons for asking for our quote-unquote friends' help in this time of our deep need? Or should we be recognizing the enemy status we've courted and just throw ourselves down in front of the bench for the mercy of the judge? Well, As if a lover picking the petals off a daisy chance, let me count the ways. War after war, empty church after empty church, homeless and starving amid a Christian nation, aborted lives in favor of choice, anger and politics the answer to just about everything. As a nation, the popular vote seems to be to count on God's friendship like the emperor loved his new suit of invisible clothes. We're rather naked in the end. For you today, please know there are tears ready to flow from my eyes in the next sentence. If you're prone to pray for your nation this day or any other day, pray for God to have mercy on us. We're hardly in the friend category. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.